Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, the home to close to 100 cars, trucks, resto mods, classics that are for sale at any one time right here in Rogers, Minnesota. Going to tell you about a very rare automobile that is right behind me. I uh, don't see very many of them. They only made 400 of them in 1941. Tell you the story in a minute. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota. The place, if you want to look at all of my inventory, you can go to www.ellingsonmotorcars.com where we have close to 100 cars, trucks, resto mods, street rods, classics for sale at any one given time. Today, we're going to look at our latest acquisition, a 1941 Lincoln Cabriolet Continental. I mean, I'll tell you what, it is a convertible, one of which they only made 400 in 1941 for a pre-war car. That's a pretty low production. It was kind of the brainchild of Edsel Ford. He's the one who was kind of one of the guys that really pushed this car, made one, found lots of interest, and all of a sudden said, you know, let's produce this on a very limited scale, of course, and they came out with 400 of the convertibles. Now, in 1941, it all also had the V12 engine, which was a flathead engine that they had in them. Uh, interesting motor. You have to take a look at the pictures and the startup. They run really smooth, and this one is really, really well detailed under the hood. They had aluminum heads. Someone has gone through the trouble of polishing them, so it really has a really nice look under the hood. As I said, they made 400 of them. That's not very many of them. This car actually was an AACA first place winner back a number of years ago and so it still shows and it has been kept at a very very high level of quality beautiful chrome throughout the car the grill is absolutely spectacular i tell you it's just one of those things that it takes real real pride and whatever to get to someone to get that nice of a job on the chrome work and stuff put together on this car uh, nottingham tan paint is what the color is called of course it's got the beautiful wide white wall tires with the beauty rings center caps and the pinstriping that goes around as well so that would be very appropriate for a 1941 car such as what we have right here uh, interesting thing they do have a power top on these cars the inside is really pristine it is all leather and interior, uh, dark brown leather interior, beautiful wood grain dash, uh, gold accents on this car. Just, I mean, you'll have to look at the pictures. It is really, really breathtaking. Uh, I always get a kick out of the fact that people say, well, did these cars come with air conditioning? This was your air conditioning right here, your front cowl vent that you could open, and that also brought in the fresh air, but that <clears throat> neither here nor there in 1941, air conditioning would have been a very, very rare item since that was only introduced a couple years prior to that. Uh, like I said, this car was a national first place winner. Everything about it just speaks of quality. One of the interesting things, they always think that there's new innovations on their cars today. This is 1941 push button opening in 1941. How can you go wrong with that? I mean, that's just one of those unique features of the uh, Cabriolet Continental. Uh, also has the full skirts that go on the back here, so it gives it that more sleek look all the way down. Uh, canvas, nice canvas top that goes with the car. It just speaks of elegance. That's was, you know, pre-war cars still had such distinction and whatever. Uh, it has a trunk area in the back, and it of course has what they call a Continental kit. This is a Continental Continental. That's where this phrase actually came from, where they have the spare tire mounted on the back. And of course, this one has that uh, uh, feature with the car. Uh, nice exhaust all the way, as you heard it run when we, when we showed the beginning. Just has a nice purr to it. Very smooth running. V12s were known for that. So if you're looking for something to add to your collection, if you're a Ford guy or you're a Lincoln guy, or you just want something that really is something spectacular, we have it right here at Ellingson Motor Cars in Rogers. You can come and visit us at uh, any time. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 until 5. We're open Saturdays even 10 to 4. Come in person if you want to see it. We'd love to show it to you. We're also on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Make us a favorite. Lots of interesting stories and videos and information there available as well. So if you're looking for something to add to your collection that is absolutely outstanding in every sense of the word, we have it right here at Ellingson's and Rogers, Minnesota.